And so Diddy just gave his bad boy artists their publishing rights back to them, and it got the people talking. Artists like Maze, The Locks, Faith Evans and many many more now have their publishing rights back in their own hands. A lot of people are praising Diddy for this and many others are saying that Diddy giving his artists back their publishing rights isn't the grand deed it's made out to be. Bad boy artist Mark Curry decided to speak out, since he is one of the artists who is going to benefit from this. But according to him, Diddy is only doing this to make himself look good, and that the publishing rights are really worth nothing today. Let's check it out. Come on, let's talk. Puff Daddy gave the publishing back. whoop de doo What's it worth? What was it worth 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and what's it worth now? What did he give you back? He gave me mine back a long time ago. I was the first person he called. He said, Mark, I want you to be the first person that know this. I'm giving all my artists back their publishing, which is equivalent to giving back your girlfriend after he done poked her in the booty and raped her and did everything that he got all of the worth out. It's like a spider went in and sucked all of the, the, the insides out of it and then give it back. That's disrespectful. I told him, why don't you just keep it and pay me? I don't want the publishing. I want the money. Come on, y'all think he doing a good thing because he give back some publishing? Come on, man. It's not worth anything. And then he he, he don't have the Ciroc or the Delion, and then he gonna give a million dollars to Jackson State like he doing some, some humanitarian type thing. He just trying to do whatever he can to keep his name relevant so he can go for a new deal because he don't really have nothing that's making him no money right now. He's not even a billionaire no more, so let's talk. talk what y'all want to do y'all want to talk about it or y'all just want to read about it and like everybody like oh puffy gives all his artists back their money i mean they publishing so what it ain't even worth like four hundred dollars a year three hundred dollars a year it's not worth nothing you can't do nothing most of these songs that all of the artists have ain't nobody gonna come back and license them for movies later on or shine bad boy for life uh, what kind of slang bang in the street nah that's not like bon jovi that's not like the police. You know what I mean? We talking about songs that publishing that got long legs. It ain't really no long leg publishing coming out of it except for the one he got with every breath, you, every step you take and all of that kind of stuff. Ain't nothing else valuable over the G-Dep. I mean, he, he, you know, give him his publishing back. But what's the value in it? If ain't nobody picking up these songs and listening to them right now, like on the radio, if they not picking them up and listening to them right now, then it ain't nothing being generated on them. Like they just did 50 years of hip hop. So they went back and brought back Melly Mel. They brought back a whole bunch. They brought back Craig G. They brought back a whole bunch of old school artists, which in return gives them some publishing legs. Just when people say, who is that? And then want to go Google them and then maybe see what the songs that they used to do long time ago. Now that might make them a couple of dollars, but come on, y'all. If you have stayed with me to this point of the video, consider subscribing. Hit the like button and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.